What's Cracker lacking, folks? It is Hulu here, and because the Hunter has recently come out, I'm going to show you my personal favourite Hunter deck. Just before we get right into it and show you this awesome deck, I just want to say make sure, if you do like this video, to subscribe and turn post notifications on. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you always catch the latest decks. Now, this is the perfect deck if you're trying to get into Arena 10, Arena 11, Electro Valley, the new one, or even Legendary Arena. So I've been using it to try and get into Legendary Arena. I've only used it a couple of times, but here is the deck right here with the Hunter. Um, in front of it uh, comes the Giant, and, and along with the Inferno Tower, the Mega Minion, and the Mini Pekka. With the Hunter, it's important to realize that he does do incredible damage at really slow range. Uh, really slow, really short range. So when they're packed tightly, he can just fire away and bang. Musketeer goes down. Uh, a lot of troops, wizards, just go down like that when they, when the hunt when you've got the hunter at quite close range. Now the hunter um, will not kill itself in one shot, um, as in two hunters won't kill themselves in one shot, and it is a pretty weak troop and dies quite easily, which is why you have something like the giant in front of it. So in comparison, it has about half the amount of hit points as a mini pecker, and a little bit less hit points than the mega minion in this deck. So you know you know what you can use to tank it with. So obviously the hunter doesn't do a great deal of damage on the tower. It does still do a decent amount of damage, but oh, I might turn my sound up. But um, it is probably best used in defense and then for counter pushes, which is what I love using this deck for. Now this is a bad situation because the balloon will get a hit on the tower. And I will actually put my hunter in behind this giant just to um, try and stop anything that's going to be put in its way. And it's going to get a few shots off on the tower and the Electro Wiz is going down. Look at that, Hunter at close range. Why would they put the Electro Wiz there? I guess to get the initial zap, but that's perfect. The Hunter just took it out. Look at that damage, that is incredible. Another Hunter comes in from the opposition. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to use a Giant to distract it. It will still get hits off on the tower, I'm sure. Yeah, because of the widespread. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't do anywhere near as much at a distance. But that, tammy, that tower is gone right there, but our tower on the right is looking pretty low as well. So what you really want to do is, yeah, this is purely a counter deck. All these cards are to be used in defense, really. There's not a single offensive card. I mean, the giant is um, offensive, um, but still, it is. I always use it to counter other cards, just like I used it to counter the hunter. Alright, so we're going to put um, the Hunter down there to try and take out the Balloon, which will get taken out anyway. Put the Giant in front of the Hunter. Oh no, we're not, we won't be able to sneak it in. We'll have to put it there. So, once again, the Hunter will take out the Electro Wiz without any fuss, and then go on to get some shots on the tower. Absolutely perfect. Four for four, looks a trade, and the Hunter gets some shots off too. Um, we'll use the Mega Minion and the Mini Pecker against this Hunter purely because of card rotation. Oh, wow. Um, okay. We don't have anything in our hand. That's bad. Uh, Mini Pecker doesn't quite get taken out, but the Mega Minions will do it. Alright, Inferno Tower. Come on, Mini Pecker. Ah, Mega, Mini Pecker, Mega Minion. Yes. So, oh, the Mini uh, Mega. I can't even talk. What the Mini Mega, Mini Mega? What the hell am I saying? The Mega Minion got distracted. Alright, so we have Mini Packer coming on that side. Distracted with the Giant. We're going to hold off. We're going to try and hold off. Come on. Let's go. What an amazing battle. Alright. Hunter going in. Inferno Tower. I think we got it. Yes, look at that. We have got it with the one crown win there. What... So you're just looking at that, such an amazing deck, brilliant counter plays, just use the Mega Minion, the Mini Pekka, the, uh, the Giant, and the Hunter all in counter situations, and then, at, and then go on the offense, um, and you have a lot more elixir than your opponent, and you can just simply 
take one tower out like I did and um, and play defensively. Or you can go for the two crown, and I've even got the three crown before with this deck. Although three crowns are not typically what you would get with this deck as it's not beat down. It's sort of, um, I mean, it is good in double elixir, but it's not, I, it shines just as well in, uh, when it's just the single elixir. So I hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, um, make sure to subscribe, turn post notifications on, so you never miss a video, and you always see the current meta decks that come out when they come out, because I'll show them to you. Um, the best ones, the ones that I think are the best anyway, in my own opinion. So, once again, subscribe. Hulu is out. Bye. <laughs>